Alright guys, so we got a little bit of bad news today. I heard the reports are kind of low for salmon. So yesterday one charter boat went out, they usually limit, they had 20 anglers and they only came back with four salmon. So it's not like two or three weeks ago where every boat was limiting out, it's a little bit slow. Um, out here with June from More Than Fishing, trying to get him on his first salmon. Yeah. We're going to go for salmon for four or five hours and then the last hour we're going to try to get a link cod because June wants to feel how a link cod <laughs> bite feels. You're going to we'll do that? See that. We'll see that. Yes, of course, man. Let's do that. Let's do that. I want, I want to really feel the, the On bite. your whole hand like that? No, no. I'm, I'm going to put it... This is the mount. I'm going to put it right here. Okay. All right, yeah. I'll, I'll watch you. <laughs> so the, it's not like, you know, I'm trying to tell the people that I'm tough that I can handle those things. No, I just what I just really want to feel it, you know. Yeah. We'll see. Hopefully we limit limit first. I want to catch a salmon, man. Never caught one. Never caught a lingcod. I guess this is the day. <laughs> this is the day. First salmon, first lingcod. That'll yep. be a good day. That'll be awesome. The reports I've heard are crippled anchovy right now. 20 to 45 pulls. So I got a crippled anchovy on this rod, apex on that one and also the gold nugget hammered spoon has been working well for people so we got all three in my bag here and of course got the fish bonker here hold this thing oh dude this is heavy yeah doesn't that make you want to hit something yeah <laughs> all right <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right yeah so i think that's about it so let's just get out and we're going to troll for four or five hours like i said and finish off the day our fishing for rockfish awesome do it, do it. Here, June, I'll let you do this one so you get some experience. I can hold that for you. Put it right here. Let's do 40 pulls. 40. Yeah, 40 pulls. 40 pulls? Yeah, so one foot pulls. Keep it open. 40. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And that's it? I, I think the drags are set fine. Yeah, drags are set good. So I'm just going to leave it in the holder. And then while I rig up the other one, you just keep an eye on this. I will. And if it goes crazy, then just let me know and I'll get it to you. Dude. Ah! <laughs> Exciting, man. Exciting. What do you do? What do you okay, do? Here. Hold on. Hold on. Let, me, let me set it first. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Yes. Oh, June. Take this off first. All right. Let me take that off. Okay. Other, other side. Other side. Other side. Here. Oh, this here. is on too. This is on. No. This is on. No, yes. Here. Yeah? There's a fish in too! Oh my god, it's too! Is there? No more! You sure? Yeah, yeah! It's, it's, it's... Oh, oh no, it's gone! Okay, here, here, here. Oh, yeah, there was. That. Okay, leave it, leave it, leave it. Take this, give me that. Give me that, give me that, give me that. Take this. Oh here. my! Keep tension on it. Don't, 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 don't hold the line. Alright, hold okay. it. Alright, you got wait, wait, it's it? Loose, real, it's real, 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 real. Real, keep reeling, keep reeling. Oh, you're good. You're good, you're good. You're good. You're good. Oh you're good. I got That's a hook up there too! Yeah, yeah. I believe you, dude. All right. Okay. All right. Careful. You just keep tension on him. Okay. Just keep tension. tension. Don't don't lift him up too much. Okay. Don't you're, really. You're good. Uh, just keep tension on him. Just keep tension. You see him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Keep him there. Just as long as we're trolling, there's pressure on him, so he's fine. Okay. Okay. Oh, you good? Man, dude. You good? I'm good, man. Okay. He's on. He's on. Okay. Don't pump him or anything. Okay. Okay. Here. Uh, let me put the reel over here. Okay. Okay. Uh, step back as much as you can. Alright. Okay. Let's calm just, down here. Okay. Relax. Just be relax, careful. Okay. Yeah. Just relax for a second. Relax, relax. Okay, okay. Woo. Okay, bring oh, them that's a good okay, one. Reel them in. Oh shoot. Yeah, reel them in this okay. way. Got this man. You got okay. this. Yeah, reel it in. Alright. Okay. Keep the keep the line low on the side of you. I love on the side of you. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Reel them in. Okay, pull them this way. Keep your line that way. Okay, slow down. Reel in a little bit more. Shoot. Reel in a little bit more. Keep it, keep the line down so that he stays in the water. Okay, now, okay, now lift up. Now lift up, lift up. Now towards me, towards me, towards me. Oh, man. Got it! Yeah, Woo! That's not sucking him out! Let's go, man. That's the keeper. Woo! Woo yeah! Yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah. All right, Dude, man. Dude, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Well, wow, me... we've been trolling for about, like, how long? Like, Hell, yeah. not even 10 minutes, right? Yeah, no, not at all. Dang, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let me, uh, let me mark that spot real quick. <gasps> we're on, we're on. Good job, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, let's make sure he's a 
king salmon. Just look at his mouth. If it's all black inside, then it's king salmon. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, black, all black. Let's see if this is a keeper. So yeah, he's 22. Keeper, you wanna keep that one? Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, I'm gonna bonk him. Oh. All right, cool, man. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, baby. All right, I'm gonna uh, ble bleed him right now. Dude, I got, I hook up on the other one. Yeah. Man, let's go. They're here, right? They're here. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Just by the green can. So oh, there's a lot of kayakers here too. Yeah. Anybody who wants to come out kayak fishing, they're here. It's crazy, but it's like unmistakable when you get a bite. That rod is just like, Arr! yeah, right? Can't even get it out of the holder. Right, so, in my last video, I don't know, some people noticed that I had a little patch behind my ear. So, that's a scopalamine, it's a transderm scope. It's transderm scopalamine patch. It's a motion sickness patch. And what it is, it's like a little medication, it gets released into your body very slowly over three or four days so it's for people who go on you know cruises or go out to charter boats or people who have vertigo and it works amazing they're really expensive $25 for one patch and you need a doctor's prescription but they work like a charm it's a little bit pricey but if you want to get out in the water and feel like you're on land I think that that's the best way to go all right second fish bro <laughs> small small yeah Shaker. I think. Oh no, it's good. <laughs> yeah, <know>. baby. <laughs> oh oh my god, bro. I almost fall. Bro, careful. Jeez. <laughs> okay, relax, dude. Oh, that might be here. June, it's you good, take you good. take you take the rod. Take the rod. Okay, hold him down, hold him down, hold him down like that. Okay. Okay. Got it. Reel in a little bit more. Oh, oh reel I in a little bit more. Line. It's okay. Reel in a little bit more. Okay, now to me, to me. Oh, now put, reel, lift it that way. Okay, lift it up towards you, towards the front of the boat. Oh, more, yeah. more, more. No, no, no. Oh, oh, shit. Okay, oh, come oh. over here. Turn up. Oh, it went underneath. Okay, it's okay. Got it? Yeah. Give me the net. Oh, no, I got it. Here, here. Reel in, reel in, reel in. Okay, that's all. Lift up, lift up, lift up. Up, 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 up. Oh, yeah! Yeah, baby. Woo! That's number two, man. That's a big one, too. Woo! That was... Hell yeah. That was, that was, awesome. that was, yeah. That was close. That that's was what close. I'm talking about, man. Measure. Yep. It's perfect. 22. <laughs> Another one, man. Dude. Dude, let me yeah. hit that thing. Right on top of his head. Yeah. Just hit it. Boom. And whip. Boom. That's it. That's salmon number two on the butter boat, actually. All right, let's bleed him. Bleed him while his heart's still beating. Again, bleeding is just to uh, keep the meat fresh. Let's 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 just start trolling again. <gasps> Man, it's only about. We're about 20 minutes. Yeah, 20 minutes. Well, like, yeah, since the last one. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> we got two seven. Hey, it looks like we won't have to make we that 10 mile run. We don't have to go there, man. We don't have to. So the rule for salmon is two per day on the boat. So if you go out on the boat, you can have two fish per person yeah. coming back to shore. But when you're on shore, you can have a two bag limit in your possession. So you can have four fish in your possession. So I'm not 100% sure, so clarify me if I'm wrong, but I think you can catch two, go back to shore, put them in your cooler in the car, come back out, catch two more, and then you can go back to shore. You have two bag limits in your possession on shore. I'm not 100% sure, so please correct me if I'm wrong. For those of you who know salmon fishing like that, what is the exact rule? All right, so yeah, let's start another troll. And then as we troll, I'm gonna clean this fish. 
So the interesting thing about that bite was we got bit on the turn and when we got the double up, June was trying to clear this rod. So there was some extra movement in the line. And on my last video, when I was reeling in to, to go home, that's when I got bit. So it's like these fish, they might be following it for a while, but they, they don't, they're not, yeah, they're not going to strike it unless they are triggered somehow. So maybe, you know, it might be worthwhile to take it out of the rod holder every once in a while and just give it a jig and then put it back down. Maybe that will entice a bite. All right, so this is a little thing. If you're going for salmon first and you have a salmon on board, which we do, and you then you want to fish for rockfish, you have to have barbless hooks. So you, you can have barbed hooks on board, but you cannot fish with anything barbed after you have a salmon on deck. So we'll pinch the barbs of our two or three ounce jig heads and catch a lingcod barbless. So hopefully we get a couple more salmon before that. That's the plan. It's got a really good fish right here. Yeah, June, bring, the, bring that one in. I'm just keeping tension on this. Oh, oh, making a good run. Okay, put that down. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm gonna reel this one in, okay? I said, I'm gonna reel this one in, so okay. you stay back here. Nice, okay. Okay, let's turn off the motor. Just kill the motor. Let's go, man. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, June. Huh? How long? 20 inches. Okay, man. Got this. Oh wow, that's a huge one. Big. That's a big one. That's a big one. Okay. That's big, Matt. Okay, hold on, wait, not yet, not yet. Keep the net out of the water. Hold the bottom of the net. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's a monster, man. Woo! That's like a good one. It's a good one, man. Let's go, Matt. Okay. Ready? Ready. This is my first time netting a fish, so forgive me if I'm doing bad. Okay, wait, not yet, not yet, not yet. Ha! Okay, this is big, man. Not yet, not yet. Oh my god, he's huge. Okay, ready? This is our time, right? Oh, no, no, no. No, no, he's okay. You're okay. Okay. Oh god. June, uh. What? Oh my god. I don't want to lose this guy. Okay, ready? Here he comes. Just right now. No, 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 no. Oh, right now. Get him, get him, get him. Get him. Yeah, let's go. Dude. Hell yeah, keep him out there, keep him out, keep him out, keep him out, keep him out. You're good, you're good, keep him away from the boat, keep him away from the boat. Okay. You're good, you're good, keep him away from the boat, away from the boat. This is like a 30 pounder right this here. This monster right here. It's like 20, 30 pounder. Hell yeah, let's go, good net dude, good net. You won't believe this thing, let me, let me bonk him real quick. Go do it man. Hold the net by the end more. You're good, you're good, you're good. He's not going anywhere in the net. Dude. Oh my god, you Come okay? On. Hit him. Hit him, man. Oh my god. Kill that monster. Woo! Baby! Look at this thing. Oh my god, Dude. What the heck? Dude, this is giant right here. What the heck? Look at that. that Look at that monster. thing. What, bro? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at this monster. Look at Look that. At that. Oh, my God. This is, a, this is an easy 30 pounder right here. Think so? Yeah. Bro. Oh, my God, man. Bro. Bro. <laughs> Look at that thing. Dude, that thing's like at least 25 pounds, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's put him in the net and I'll put let's him go. over the water. 
on 30 on 30 pound test too 30 pound fluorocarbon man so i was tiring him out i didn't want to bring him to the surface or i knew he was going to go crazy yeah so i kept him down and tried tried to let him run and get tired i loosened the drag a little bit so when he ran he would take a little drag and then when i pulled him up i could see his body tilt a little bit like he wasn't swimming he didn't have the strength so then that was the time to net him and june did a perfect job too i was thinking of, i'm gonna go down with that fish if i don't catch that <laughs> if i don't net that oh man i'm gonna dive in there this this rig right here yeah this watermelon apex watermelon right there. apex man all right so now i've been fishing a couple times with these deep divers and my advice is if you're going to buy them you can use the one that dives down to 90 feet and only pull out 40 feet and it'll go straight down like a downrigger and then i feel like you have more control of where the bait is if you do it that way so i would use the bigger one as your main one and just go straight down that last fish was caught at 40 feet 40 pulls a watermelon apex four and a half inch 30 pound main line 30 pound fluorocarbon check the description for all the gear i use in this video all right well i we couldn't limit out at least not yet so we're going for rockfish and like i said earlier if you got salmon on board you got to have barbless hooks so i'm pinching the barb down on this jig head june you got some swim baits right i do okay so whatever your choice of swim bait we're going to get june one ling cod he's going to get bit on his hand <laughs> and, the, <laughs> and then we're going to go back in <laughs> got a ling cod here folks Lick God. Oh my God, this is big too. This is big. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my gosh. There you go. Oh, two species today, Matt. Yep. Oh, check on my bucket list. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's not a Lick God. Oh, is that a Lick God? What is the size limit for Lick God? 22. 22? Barely hooked to get that out and get the measuring tape. We're gonna get this one back in the water soon, but June is determined to get bit by a lingcod, so we got an opportunity here. We might as well take advantage of it. <laughs> All right, so we're back on land. I'm about to clean up these fish, but before I do, let me show you the three fish we caught. A humongous king salmon. I'm gonna bring this huge fish home and smoke it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's the first time I'm smoking something. So this is gonna be interesting. And there's enough fish where I'm not, not gonna smoke at all. I'm gonna eat some too. So take a look at this in the cooler before we head out and clean the boat. Look at that monster right there. 35 inches long. This one is 22 inches long, but looks like a little baby next to it. Like this is a nice salmon right here in my left hand, but this thing is gargantuous. All right, so I'm gonna go head home, smoke this thing. Big thanks to June, More Than Fishing for coming out. Check out his channel, More Than Fishing. I would not have been able to net that alone, I don't think. Great job netting that salmon. That was, man, what a great day. All right, let's, let's smoke these fish. All right, I'm back home with the beautiful, beautiful king salmon catch. So June went home with two of the smaller salmon, and I decided to keep this one. And if you notice, there's a smoker behind me. It's a grill a grill smoker, and I'm going to smoke this thing up. First time I'm smoking, I'm going to try a bunch of different recipes in the future. Some lingcod, some perch, some cabazon, all smoked. So that's going to be really interesting. But of course smoked salmon that's one of the most common things that you're gonna find smoked so i would say with any fillet job the most important thing is to have a sharp knife nine inch blade kershaw knife got it from walmart for 20 bucks so the way that a lot of people do this they'll start from the tail and they'll just straight up just start slicing just get straight to the backbone make sure your knife is sharp and just follow the backbone all the way to the head and you can go slow as long as you're following that backbone the thing about filleting a salmon like this is that it's already gutted so you're not cutting through this entire half section you're really only worried about this upper section so now i've got the belly open and following that spine cutting through the rib cage and right behind the collar it slit all the way up to the neck oh my goodness let's take a look at that meat 
a uh, little choppy of a job but hey did you look at that kind of choppy right here but that's okay because I'm gonna cut off this rest of this the rest of this pieces and I can do that just by bending the knife right along the spine there look at that I'm not at a good angle but you get the idea so this way we're not wasting anything like look at that like that could go on some smoked salmon eggies Benedict too you know and the crazy thing about working with a wild fresh salmon like this is that when you're working with it you feel the fats on your hand like I washed my hands before this but touching the meat my hands are just full of that omega-3 fatty acid look at that that's all the meat that I saved that's almost enough for one meal right there trimming up all these little bones so I don't have anything when I smoke it I'm gonna do this and get the skin off too all right well look at my horrible attempt at skinning this salmon I mean for a fisherman this is pretty bad gotta say but look at all that brown meat that's all the fishy stuff so I'm gonna take my time look at all that it's pretty thick too so I'm gonna take my time you know look at all that look at all that super fishy all the all the metals and stuff are probably can be in here concentrated in here all that dark thick, gross color looking meat so I'm gonna trim all that up and all I'm gonna be left with is some beautiful orange meat ready to smoke so as you can see I've been trimming away all this gray brownish meat and you know I'd just rather not eat all that stuff so if you look over here this is pretty much all that gray meat right here so let me finish this one up cut it into slices and get it ready for the brine well it seems like the general consensus is to do four parts brown sugar to one part salt and optional to add a little bit of cracked pepper to the recipe so i'm gonna do four cups of brown sugar here cracked pepper get it all mixed up all right let's see how it tastes mm, pretty good so what they say on these youtube videos you don't want any areas exposed all the fish should be covered and look at all these little trimmings that i've got too i feel like these thin pieces right here are going to be the best those were the ones that were right up against the spine all right so this is the next day after brining for about 12 hours let's take a look looks nice to me i flipped it one time overnight the next thing i would do if i were to do this again i would use a slightly smaller pan but look at these pieces I think these are going to be delicious. Nice, thin. Probably going to turn out like jerky. And then it's all, you know, it all holds its shape as I hold it. So I know it's ready. I know it's good. It's all a good color. So now the next thing to do is to rinse it under cold water, set it on racks, let it dry until it's tacky, and then it's ready to smoke. So what am I doing with this, you might ask? Well, after you rinse the salmon, you want to dry them out on a rack. And if you put them straight on any metal rack, they're going to stick. So you can either spray some Pam, but I got to incorporate the butter. So I've got my rack here. I'm just going to butter it up. Butter it up. This is a close-up of one of the pieces. You can see the pepper nicely integrated evenly in the meat. So we rinse all that brine off. Cold water, rinse it off. Man, I have a feeling this is going to be one of the best pieces. Look how thin it is. I think that's going to turn out really well. All right, we're just patting it dry. So the whole purpose of smoking and putting them in that brine is to draw the moisture out. So before you cook a fish, you don't want to have it sitting in salt or else it's going to draw all the moisture out. So right before you're about to cook it, that's when you want to put some salt on. Put it on one side, put it in the pan. Right before you're about to flip the fish, salt the other side. Flip that. That way, all the moisture gets to stay inside and you'll have a very moist, nice fish. So you can tell right there that the fish is changing colors on the bottom. That's being cooked, turning the meat a different color. And the same thing is going to happen when you flip the fish over and you want to take it out right when you don't see any more translucent meat. Any of that pink orange meat, once it turns white, that's perfectly cooked. Any more and it's going to start drying out. All right, now right before we're about to flip it and give it some more salt on this side. Yeah, baby. Does that not look good? Oh man, that's the flame. Not too high or else that butter is going to burn. All 
Got that bite right here. Nice and moist. Tastes like trout. Tastes like salmon. Salmon and trout taste very similar. It's really oily, really fatty too. That's one of the most distinguishing features of the salmon meat. Especially when you're just filleting it, like I was saying, you get oils all over your hands and you can really taste it. You can really feel the oils when you taste it. Kind of coats your throat with these oils. It's really a special fish. So now it's time to smoke. And I've never smoked salmon. This is my first grill. And the first thing that we've got to do is to season it because there's some chemicals and oils that are all on the grease and the inside of the grill. We've got to burn those off first. So I've got a 20 pound bag of these wood pellets. This is like a competition blend. Sometimes they're in hickory flavor, applewood. So I'm gonna dump all this into the hopper. This is what this is called right here. There's the pellets all filled up. This is the ambient temperature right here, 65 degrees. And there's an auger in here, and that's what it's gonna ignite. It's gonna ignite from in here. So in case you're curious, this is the Grilla Grill Silverback model, wood pellet smoker slash grill. And I'm super, super excited to start grilling and smoking a lot of things. I'm wanting to try smoking some perch, ling cod, cabazon in this, all of the fish that I catch. I've never, never seen anybody smoke ling cod before. And this company was gracious enough to send me this grill for free, which is great. And I get to share my experience of grilling with you guys. Um, it's all, all new learning experience. So a couple more minutes, these wood pellets should be in that smoker. so it's been about an hour let's see first we got to lower the temperature to get it down to 225 all right, 225 here we come well all right I have reduced the heat to 225 got my delicious looking brine salmon ready to go I'm gonna throw it on here until the internal temperature is about 130 to 140 degrees it comes with a probe here so I can probe the meat uh, it's gonna take about 20 to 25 minutes I believe so I'm gonna throw these on here check it back soon oh baby look at that that looks good to me all right y'all first time smoked salmon let's give this a little taste test oh man mm, that's so good I didn't I didn't even glaze it holy Oh man, damn, that's so good. Perfect salt, four to one ratio of the brown sugar and salt. Oh my God, look at that, man. You know, it's, oh no, I dropped it, but I don't even care. Mmm, damn, that's really good. Super oily, that's all the natural oils from the fish. Getting my camera all oily too when I try to focus it, but look, look at that, look at my hand. Look at my fingers. Those are that's all oil from the fish. Omega threes. So you press off, it shuts down in five minutes. You leave it plugged in. It'll do a whole turning off process. Right now, I'm trying this really thin piece. I thought this was going to be the best piece. I thought it was going to be like jerky, but this one is a little bit too salty, and it's hard. You know, for that thicker piece, you actually have the texture of the salmon when you cook it in a pan almost so it's kind of soft still the outside is kind of more of a beef jerky type of texture but inside is soft and super oily don't get me wrong this this one is good too but it's just a little bit dry that's what i'm trying to say look at that right there flaky not dried out or anything super oily Super moist. I was going to say that actually I might think I put too much salt in it because the smaller pieces are salty, but these thicker pieces are, are perfect. No, I don't think I would change a thing on that brine. 
Mm, absolutely delicious. Well, anyway, thanks again, June, for coming out with me. Congrats on the first salmon, first link cod that you've caught. Thanks again to Grill of Grills for sending me this grill. Excited to do a lot of more smoking with different types of fish and maybe some game too. All right, if you guys have any recipes for me for a smoker or grill, let me know. Also, some pretty important news. I just sold the Zodiac. The Zodiac is gone, so no more salmon from the Zodiac. I'm kind of relieved and kind of heartbroken at the same time. It was the original butter boat, but the butter boat 2.0 is coming up next. So that'll be here in a couple weeks. And I'm really excited to show you guys that. I think a lot of people are going to be intrigued and interested in the butter boat 2.0. Just, just wait. Got a 20 horsepower motor on it. It's also a 12. All right, I don't want to talk about it too much, but just stay tuned for updates on the butter boat too. All right, guys. Oh my goodness, man. Wow. Mm-hmm.